What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today in our Las Vegas Raiders. It is now officially week 11, and of course, you can see the matchups here. Before we actually get into the episode, if you're new to the channel, maybe think about subscribing. We do a ton of franchise stuff, and we've been grinding it hard, and I would ask for a like, but I'll let you wait till the video gets going. All right, so the freaking Bengals, who we kind of compared them to the Giants a little bit offensively, lots of talent. A little bit better of a decision maker in Joe Burrow. I would say if we beat the Giants by a little bit, we may actually, you know, take this overtime, maybe lose. I will say on paper, though, the Giants defense is a little bit better uh, with the Bengals having a bit rougher of a secondary outside of Jesse Bates. Uh, as far as our offense goes, if you're new to this series, this is what we're rocking with. Uh, Kenyon Drake and Jacobs, they've been a pretty decent duo. Uh, but it's really been, like, these guys do well, and they set it up, but it really has been the Derek Carr, Darren Waller, and, of course, Henry Ruggs show. Edwards has been good for maybe 50 yards or so. The O-line has been interchangeable ever since, really, preseason. The injuries have just piled up. Thankfully, they haven't been long-term, uh, but, of course, you can see here after the loss, the defense is not feeling too proud of themselves with everyone having a morale drop. Also, the minus three to play rec and tackling that we got just in general from the division rival scenario, which I think is harsh. I mean, we the, the question was, hey, how do you stop a guy like uh, Travis Kelsey? We're like, hey, I mean, it's not easy. He's a very good player. And then they're like, lol, you suck, you lost, you know, negative three, take it, loser. It is what it is, right? Five and four, Raiders, the Chiefs keep rolling. They're nine and one. The only team they lost to is Titans. The Broncos, we did beat in a little bit of a surprising fashion, but of course, there's still two games ahead of us. It's been a start. It's been a start, that's for sure. Obviously, weekly training, got to remember, their run game is probably going to be a little bit more leaned on than the Chiefs, even though you can see here with the tendencies that uh, they actually do pass the ball a significant amount more. I would still be leaning towards stopping their run game more than anything. Joe Burrow is a good decision maker, decently accurate, but that throw power is lacking. So you got to imagine... It's probably going to be near the line of scrimmage type of plays. They are kind of more of a possession team. So definitely not deep pass like last week. Not that that seemed to affect a singular thing. They say outside run. I agree, outside run defense. And as far as the player health goes, we rested the DBs last week. Yeah, let's. The safeties need to be put through the ringer. They were awful. Uh, middle linebackers. I think the linebackers are fine. At least left out, we'll keep out there. And then... The blam. Well, let's go. Let's go split for the the edge rushers. It's advance, and then for our offense, once again, ground game has been a huge staple to setting up things. Once again, it seems weird that the ground game is always good, but it doesn't always lead to points. So we're just gonna keep you know going with what has supposedly worked. I suppose five and four for this roster is definitely uh, you know a bit of a better start than we expected. And then for the O-line, we've just had so many injuries. I'm just going to keep splitting the, the offensive line practices with the backups. And, yeah, let's get our practice in. See what kind of upgrades we get for the game. I, I still don't have all of this down pat. I don't know what each gives you. So, block shed, play rec. It's not that great, right? It's stopping the run, obviously, but it's not really super great. Obviously, we are ready for the run. So, hopefully, they feel like feeding Joe Mixon and wow, five carrying and five ball carrier vision for the quarterbacks. I mean, if I didn't know any better, that is the greatest upgrade I've ever seen. Yeah, ground and pound basically is the, the motto for the day. Upgrade players, do we have anyone? Trayvon Mullen, who once again, even though we got destroyed and he was on Tyreek quite often, he still did about as well as you can ask for. He seems to be a future star in this league. Two strength. 88 strength, and we put him at lineman, maybe. I mean, we kind of need the help. Uh, obviously, that joke's funny. <laughs> like and subscribe. Uh, Trayvon Mullen, the temp boost is, once again, as they say, temporary. Two to man, one to zone, and acceleration. That is not bad at all. And once again, he is he's quickly becoming a star. And, of course, I, by far the best uh, cornerback on this team, especially with Casey Hayward being traded at the deadline. Brian Edwards, what should his focus be? I really think we should just focus on him catching, right? He's kind of like a possession guy, so let's go with, even though slot's not his type, slot for the catching upgrades, which will give him a speed upgrade. Not bad. 
Definitely not what I was expecting. Of course, he has started with 88 speed, so now he's up to 90. I'm not sure how that works in the NFL, but a hey, speed training, I suppose. Now you go from the Chiefs to the Bengals. You're you're feeling pretty good about yourself. You're definitely feeling pretty good about yourself. All right, Kenyon Drake with the return. He's been close all year long, just like I am every time he almost gets it. You know what I mean? And Derek Carr, you know, we don't really want to recall what happened uh, last week. <laughs> but obviously against the Chiefs, who do apply some pressure. Chris Jones, he was he was in and out, right? He, he made some plays. Definitely pressured us a bit. Uh, forces him into some bad ones. A couple of drops on top of it. It was a bad situation. When you're playing offense and there is a very high chance the other team is going to score a touchdown, there's a lot of pressure on you, especially when it's your division rival. And you know, this week, that pressure should be gone. And Jacobs is already finding some room. Absolutely buries Jesse Pates. And Jacobs is off to an insane star for 25. Didn't see a single thing like this last week. No trucking, no anything. Really, it was just cutback lanes all day, trying to just outrun people. And oh my, that is ridiculous. Jacob's up the middle again, once again. That's kind of what we saw last week, right? You know, lowering the shoulder, not really getting too much, but a couple of yards here and there. The Waller on the outside is probably our primary look. Hunter Renfro as well. Waller, he is... And once again, you got to get that big man going. Once he gets going, it just seems like everything opens up because obviously you're like, oh, yeah, giant fast man. That's not good. Uh, first and 10, we're going to right back to the ground game. We said we were going to. Cutback is beautiful. And the one time we don't get a truck, could have been a touchdown. Ingold was out there. It was one man to beat if Ingold gets him. I don't know if he would have, but it was a close call. Would have liked to see it. Didn't. Second and four. Double drag look. And we're actually going to go to Edwards. A little dangerous because throwing across our, our body like that with Derek Carr has been a little hit or miss this season, especially as of late. And uh, we've actually had a couple of picks that way. Definitely glad it wasn't one. But, then, you know, here we are. I haven't seen him win with that speed. And we're going to step up a little late. And, yeah, we should have got rid of that sooner. Once again, couldn't really, though. You throw that away, and that's going to be grounding. So try to see if we can find a spot. Verticals from the 20-some yard line might not have been the best look, but I didn't see the safety help. Thought maybe Ruggs would get over top. Doesn't. And of course, it's going to be a long second down now. Could go to Drake. Hunter Renfro lead him inside and holds on to the ball. Kind of back to the line of scrimmage, the original line of scrimmage at least. Third and eight, out route. Real hit or miss. We threw a pick last week on the out route. Don't want another one. Renfro, maybe. Maybe. And we're going to try to step up, and we're just going to get pummeled. Everyone is a bit slow off the line there. I cannot lie. We were lacking badly there. And, of course, with slow release means more time for the, the D line. Should be good. It is. I mean, we got points. Daniel Carlson having himself a hell of a season. Actually had a couple of long kicks this season as well that I didn't really even expect him to hit. He's been impressive. I think we actually may need to pay him as well, which if we do... That man's going to enjoy some uh, financial security. Which, if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, help me enjoy financial security by le leaving a like and subscribing. It's not quite how it works, but, you know, a segue. And I don't think he is the best running back, right? And that's going to be a gain of seven. Who is their tight end? Is I would assume that is their tight end, right? Oh, it's T. Higgins. Once again, the guy that does get converted to tight end from you know, every once in a while. To the outside. Once again, we said it. There's uh, going to be a lot of short passes this game, but we felt like the ground game was going to be something we needed to focus on more. I tend to agree, but I don't know. And that's going to be a tough shot. Really good attempt by, once again, that guy that we thought was the tight end, T. Higgins. Absolutely rolled by Abram there, and Mullen almost got lost. To the outside, Jacobs. Really good play by Hendrickson to actually pull off the line and kind of force us away, which I think a lot of people do. Kenyon Drake, yikes. Yeah, gain of two, maybe three. Third and six now. Both teams kind of going a, li a little boring today, right? A little little shorter than we should. And Ruggs, please, somebody, please on this team, just get behind the defense. And he's really not. Waller gets hit and just straight up drops it. I mean, that is just not a play Waller should be making. 
Like that, I mean, that should be a play he's making, but that's not a play he should be missing. And unfortunately, that is going to be a wasted opportunity. 86 overall and always on the trade block. Hit as he's throwing. Once again, they're taking a shot. And just a 50-50 ball. Trayvon Mullen. I don't think that's the guy. I mean, do these guys watch tape on us? You literally watch any tape, and you know that every single player not named Trayvon Mullen is basically the guy you want to throw against. But no, here they are, taking it you know, against Mullen, who's becoming a star in this league. Of course, Jamar Chase, a, a guy that the Bengals have a lot of hope for, can be a star in this league as well. Uh, getting a first down, had a nice catch a little bit earlier in traffic. Arnett still kind of learning the ropes himself. And there, just a coverage sack. Max Crosby, well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of close. A coverage sack, kind of not. Either way, it's a sack. Really good pressure there by Max, who's been real hit or miss this season. Definitely fair there and kind of pushing him off. T. Higgins, who's been their primary receiver so far. Not a whole lot of yards, though. Once again, we said possession-type receivers. That's the way they're playing so far. And on a third and 16, I can't imagine they're converting this, right? Although, once again, a meek who should not be playing the number two spot. He is. And this could be a cover sack, speaking of, and he's going to throw it away, but is that a roughing the passer penalty? That is harsh. We have not seen a single roughing the passer penalty all season long. It seems like the NFL has just been, you know, trying to limit those penalties. Of course, they kind of ruin the experience. They kind of ruin the pacing of the game. And they kind of feel like they decide outcomes at times. And that could not have come at a worse time as they were obviously about to most likely punt the ball there. And instead, I mean, it leads. It looks like it's going to lead to some free points now. I don't know. It's hard. I mean, we'll get to it in a second. Is that McCoy, the old man? No, it's not. It's Clellan Farrell, another guy we're talking about becoming a star in this league very quickly. Closing in on double-digit sacks as he had a three-sack performance recently enough. He might have had a two-sack performance, uh, you know, a game or two ago. I mean, the man has put up some numbers. Maybe he had a chance there, Joe Burrow. Is he going to throw that ball away? Probably actually had Joe Mixon. We kind of ran away trying to prevent him from running. I don't think we would have got there in time anyways. But, yeah, Joe Burrow seeming a little scared here, a little paranoid in the pocket. Some reason to to feel that way, but I mean, not that great a pass rush to be doing that, right? So I don't know. I mean, this the size difference is there too. Jacob's nice up the middle, and that's going to be a hold. I feel like that's going to be against Incognito. But then again, Ingold had a pretty good hand on someone, so yeah, it was Alec Ingold, unfortunately. Whatever you got up to, I'm not here to judge. Another drag route is they really haven't given us much more than that. Second and seven after the holding call. Puts us at the third and three mark inside to Kenyon Drake, maybe. Drake up the middle, and what a cutback. Great job by uh, Nate Davis, I would imagine. Does it look like it was the right guard? I couldn't tell 100%, but good job never giving up. Even though he got beat, maybe a little bit of a block on the back. Maybe got away with something there. Uh, you know, didn't give up, and instead of it being a clear cut one-on-one, -on -one, he actually had help, and Jacobs almost getting through there. That was... That was close. That was close. Of course, Jacob's not that fast, but I thought we had a chance to get some blocks in there cleanly. It really does. Double move rugs. Had him. Waller's probably the most open, and that is that is a bit of a sky shot, but Waller doesn't seem to mind. Catches it, turns up field, slips it, runs through a guy, and, and kind of almost goes out of bounds on his own power. Kind of just like, ah, it's enough. It's enough punishing these Bengals. They've had enough. Press set it down, see what he can do with it. Hunter Renfro gets hit as he's throwing, and it's still a perfect delivery. That is an insane throw. That is absolutely nuts. And is this actually going to go to Hunter Renfro? No, we got to change it up with Waller, who, I mean, pre-snap looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. And wow, who is that? That man just made an absolute insane play. And Waller, really good awareness by the cornerback there. Can't even see him turn around in time. Third and 11. We've been very conservative this game. I, I don't think either side would disagree with that for both teams, really. Their team has been very conservative as well. And obviously the scoreboard shows that. But it might be time to just take a shot if it's there. Which ironically, geez, the pressure. I might be dropping back a, I mean, a little bit too far. I mean, it's starting to see uh, that uh, Trey Hendrickson has been worth the investment. Uh, just from the game I'm seeing here, 
And of course, another field goal. So we'll go up through the uprights. What an exciting one. Six to three. I mean, if you had to go to any game, this would be the one to attend. Stupid. Yeah, but obviously, I know what you mean. And Kwiatkowski can't bring him down. Is, is that the tight end this time? It doesn't look like T. Higgins. Is that, uh, is that Simple? Is his name Simple? Is it, was he in the backfield there? I keep forgetting it's like right before half, so obviously they're trying to get down there quickly. I guess both are fast. A meek a short man, and Jamar is going to slip it to the 29-yard line. Bo Jackson. Come on, Crosby. Come on. There you go, Carl Joseph to the 24. Well, and Farrow, who's been a, a huge part of this team's success, at least on defense this year, and even this game a little bit, may have an a, even better time of it. And Kwiatkowski, I know you're not known for interceptions, but that would have been huge. You have to get that ball. You cannot be dropping that. That is massive. And, oh, speaking of massive, Cleland Farrell is moving massive players. Stiff arm by Mixon is no good as Abram recalculates his handwork. And I don't, yep, I'm just not even going to continue with that. I was going to roll with it. Nah, <laughs> he doesn't do what I just said. Oh, God, we should call timeout. Timeout. No, 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 no. I don't care. I don't care if, the, you know, it's going. It's, no. And dropped by Mullen. I believe Mullen had the pick. And as he was bringing it down, it actually hit the helmet of his defender. Is this 40 time? Oh! That could have been my first blocked field goal. And obviously it would have been massive because it would have denied their uh, tying field goal attempt. But unfortunately, the insane gunslinger shootout continues. The middle. I mean, sometimes he just absolutely smashes people and then that happens. And speaking of that happening, Joe Mixon is going to gain a lot of yards. Yeah, that, it's not good because I always mix up Carl Joseph and Littleton's numbers. So sometimes the alignment is just completely off. And uh, yeah, that that's one of those times you don't want Littleton covering him. <laughs> he gained a massive amount of yards. And start of the second half, it is looking like all Cincinnati so far. We may see our very first touchdown of the game. If there is one, we'll see. That's right. <laughs> and inside, it's going to be a catch by Mr. Taj Boyd, right? Tyler Boyd. Why am I thinking of Taj Boyd? Isn't that Taj Boyd the quarterback? Former quarterback? I don't know why I thought it was Taj. And damn it, can't cut back. Joe Mixon with a huge stiff arm. That man has been brutal with the stiff arms. Finally. I mean, I mentioned it earlier. I didn't want them to change that aspect. I was just kind of wondering why they haven't run it more with him. Now down to the one. And Morrow, perfect play action, perfect execution. And Sample will be getting the first touchdown of the day. All right, we got to get moving because uh, dropping back-to-back -back games would not be preferable. Kenyon Drake, little dump off pass. Come on, Edwards. Kind of slowed down for Edwards. Shouldn't have. Just should have just ran. I mean, it is what it is. And Waller, not open a lot, but enough. Tried to accelerate into the catch. That would have been filthy. I feel like they should probably avoid red. Go to the play action. This is usually uh, resulting in the right end getting wide open. And by wide open, I mean free. And unfortunately, speaking of wide open, Waller was wide open. And Derek Carr decided to miss him. This guy is, he's a character. I'll tell you what, he is an absolute character. And we're getting wild with these route combinations. Could we see Edwards? We could, but Ruggs is way too open not to throw to him. Tried to cut it outside, didn't. To the 33, the completion percentage is there. But like some of our opponents in the past, it's because of playing a little too conservatively. And that could cost us, so... You know, if the read is there, it's a one-on-one -on -one look, specifically with a guy like Waller who's huge. Maybe we take it. Speaking of, maybe there's a reason we don't take it. Six foot six Waller gets mossed by Bell. No, no, no. No, no, no. We actually got caught on Yannick, who's actually playing pretty good coverage. Abram. And he holds on. Oh, my God. T. Higgins is a god. Put, put him on your list. You, who do you want in a jump ball battle? Megatron or uh, R Randy Moss? Nah. T. Higgins. He's my guy. He's my guy. T. Higgins is my new guy for that. Damn it. 
Get in there, Trayvon. I will admit, Trayvon Merrick, is, he's been a little disappointing. Start off decent, really, really taking a dive lately. Uh, and, you know, his decision-making has been a little off. He's been really hesitant. And he just misses opportunities. And literally the perfect time to mention that. It just seems like stuff like that. He's in position, and he just doesn't capitalize it, man. Just doesn't work out for him. Inside, come on. There goes Diablo with the, the fresh-looking number five that I clearly love to see. Please, defense. We're down 13-6 against the Bengals. This cannot be the case. Littleton backing up, and that's just going to be a coverage sack for Clellan Farrell. Once again, that man has crushed it at the rush DT spot. I mean, there were, you know, we were kind of on to something there, and we decided to give it a try. Something that we expect to see a decent bit. And a block! We missed again! How in the world have we gotten two attempts at a block on all Madden? That's insane. Is it Goshkowski? I mean, he's probably regressed a bit, but still, I don't know how that works. And why it was surprising was obvious, he said, which I agree. And that would have been a pick based on... Yeah, a little bit of an illegal contact there. That would have been very heartbreaking, as that probably would have ended the game mentally and definitely physically. Edwards, once again, on the drag. I mean, I just don't really see a whole lot more openings than that. DJ Reader. We can still run the ball. DJ Reader being injured now. Definitely something we should capitalize on, because, of course, he is a massive, massive person, and obviously a huge player for that D line and of course we're already taking advantage of it with an 11 yarder personally of course and is Waller injured Edwards with another drag actually kind of shown off a little bit of speed of course recently got to 90 speed and uh, yeah our season's kind of it's kind of collapsing a little bit here a li just a little bit the slogan coming up soon if they want to show some honesty and I trusted Renfro and thankfully we went with the trust there bailed out the entire play there because of I, I saw the lane he had and kind of the leverage he had Edwards why is this I guess Waller would get there first am I supposed to throw that on the cut up this this route combination seems interesting and swatted at the line as Kenyon Drake had a chance maybe even to score on that second and 10 and who would have thought three down linemen would only result in a gain of two? Rugs on the slant. Waller's the main look, though. Rugs, catch this. You hero. Is it going to be a first down? That's close. And it is going to be inches. Do we give it to the main man himself? I mean, they don't look. I mean, they could commit if the linebackers get there fast enough. This has got to just be a play for Alec Engel. Yeah, that's that. That's that boy. That's that boy. We're testing it again. Waller. And... W okay. Uh, that could be the game. That could be the game. Chiefs game, you mean? Super Bowl? Oh, my Lord, Hankins. We need stuff like that if we want to win. Because right now, the offense has just been, surprisingly enough, absolutely locked. The Bengals' defense has been very good today. Very good. And no, no, Jamar Chase is running. He had a chance at a pick, didn't get it, and then it turns into a massive yardage. Uh oh, get, get over there. Inside Kwiatkowski. Even with the blitz, we can't get there, man. Their O line is held up very well, especially an O line which I don't think has DeCastro. I think they lost him for the game. Come on, somebody get in there. Both pushing inside and. Tight end gets it. They are rolling. I mean, we're going to need some sort of miracle. Maybe a blitz or something. Oh, we left the tight end wide open there. That's just us. Uh, we gave way too much leverage there, way too much separation, and we, we just got rolled. I mean, they've just kind of locked us up. I don't know. Every time I've tested Waller as well, they've taken the ball away, and that has been easily... He just got freaking clotheslined. Yeah, we're eighth in passing on the year, and the Bengals are absolutely locking us down right now. However, I don't want to be, you know, some future seer, but this could be a touchdown. It's not. It could be a freaking touchdown for them. Waller 
Not going to get it. I really thought Ruggs is going to break free. Did not. Okay. Well, that's fun. Edwards, please. Good play. First down. I mean, we're putting a lot of uh, faith in this. Can't adjust any of the other routes either. Oh, damn. And once again... Mike Hilton, uh, interception. Waller is by far the guy that you throw a jump ball to on this team. And after today, I will not be doing so ever in the future. I like, I just don't see the point to. A six foot six tight end at a five nine corner. I'm not saying that we should catch it every time, but maybe we should. Honestly, with the size difference and the talent difference, maybe we should be. I don't imagine in real life, if you throw 10 jump ball passes to Darren Waller, with Mike Hilton on him, that Mike Hilton is winning more than one, maybe at best two of those interactions. And no fumble there. That's really harsh. Divine Diablo, one of the hardest hitting players in the league. Can't force the hit on a very clean look. Easy recovery for Waller, and that's a touchdown. Joe Mixon will put up another score. They are up 30 to 6. This is easily the most shocking and most disappointing loss of the season by far. Hey, Waller making a play. Getting knocked out of bounds, but... I mean, you see those three interceptions next to Derek Carr's name? He doesn't seem to care. He really doesn't. Yeah, that's you, buddy. Edwards, there you go. Did they decline it? Oh, did they decline it because they thought we were going to to not call a timeout? <laughs> and there goes Drake for the touchdown. Suck it, Bengals. Closer game than you thought. I think Natalia's going to go for the two-point. Or can you not actually go for the two-point anymore? I thought you couldn't. I thought maybe, like, the game was over because, you know, Campus Legends. Eh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Edwards. Terrible throw. I mean, that is, like, a three-yard pass. That's almost a handoff. That is literally almost a handoff, but it's not quite, and he can't complete it. Just an off game. Just an absolutely off game. And the worst part is we were at home. And, and the, no, the worst part is that. They're freaking taking photos with each other when we just got rolled, dude. We literally just got rolled by these Bengals, and they're like, uh, you want to take some photos with us since we are your new daddies? It's like, yeah, yeah I will, clearly. That's, that's, I could not think of anything more fun than after getting my ass handed to me than to take some photos with the team that gave me that handing. Thank you. Appreciate it. I want to look back at this moment multiple times in the future and just remember. <laughs> so dumb, dude. Uh, but uh, here's the numbers. Of course, not our proudest day. A humbling day, I will say. Uh, it seems like the offense uh, just, you know, really just throwing a wall there wasn't good. We got to play more precise football rather than... You know, oh, we got a one-on-one -on -one with Darren Waller. Even though it should probably be caught, or at least a chance at caught, being caught, we, we got to just play our game, and our game is uh, precision. And with that, we dropped two games in a row with no end in difficulty in sight. The Cowboys next, the Washington and the Chiefs, all teams that are very good and teams that can uh, definitely make it tough on you, whether it's with offense from Dallas or the Chiefs or from Washington being suffocating on defense. I am not looking forward to these matchups. This Bengals matchup was supposed to be, even though they are, you know, they were six and three, now they're seven and three, was supposed to be kind of a, an easier matchup, a matchup that we were expecting to win, especially at home, but we didn't. Regardless, though, should be very interesting these next few weeks. Hoping to at least steal one of the games, especially that Kansas City Chiefs game, but I do not feel super great about it. Regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. We do a ton of franchise stuff, which, speaking of, will be a rebuild tomorrow. Might be early in the morning, actually, to try and beat out the uh, the week one games. And, yeah, maybe follow me on Twitter, Trump Care, second channel, PKR Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Trump Care, where I... Constantly sell on streams. Was supposed to stream and uh, AM, PM. You know what, what, what's the difference really? But always look at the community tab because that's where the information for streams will be, whether it is actually going ahead or not. I'll let you know later today if we are streaming. If not, just assume that I'm selling as usual. And yeah, 
That's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, uh, see ya.